What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a white Russian, but we're not gonna be making the white Russian of Lebowski. We're gonna be making like a deconstructed version of white Russian that I like to make. The one that I make at Kohl's for everybody. And uh, we're gonna be using some of my favorite, favorite products. So what is a white Russian? What is a white Russian, you ask? A white Russian is a mixture of vodka and uh, coffee liqueur with a little bit of sugar and some cream. It was made most popular by this guy. Fuck! In the limo, you son of a bitch, no hey, argument. Hey, hey, careful, man, there's a beverage here, huh? But today, we're gonna make the cocktail first, and then if you wanna stick around for the history, we'll do that on the back end. All right, let's get into making the drink. So first thing we're gonna do is just a uh, quarter ounce of simple syrup, and we're gonna build this right in the glass, because there's no reason not to. Then we're gonna do, it's very simple, just a one ounce of Mr. Black coffee liqueur, and two ounces of vodka. We're using Mulholland today. We're gonna add some ice to our glass. And give it the old stirry poo to combine the ingredients. All right, now for the cream component, I like to do this little trick where we expand cream in a squeeze bottle. I put a little uh, coil in here. I think you can kind of, you can't really see it, but it's like a little, here, I'll pull it out for you even though you guys are like, why are you using your finger? A little coil. That, what that coil does is help expand the cream a little bit faster because if you're just expanding the cream in a squeeze bottle without that coil, it takes kind of a long time to do. So this is just a little trick to do it really fast. When you expand the cream, you don't want to expand it too much because if you do, it's not going to layer properly. You want to just expand it enough to kind of set a bead on your finger like that. All right, a little shake, and then we're just going to layer the cream on top of the cocktail like so. And that is it. That is how you make a white Russian. It's kind of deconstructed. So the way that you would want to do this is either sip it through the cream or you can mix the cream in. Either way, it's up to you. I'm going to sip it through the cream. That's how I like to do it. That was good. So obviously the, the vodka is giving it proof. What I like, I feel like I have cream all over. Do I have cream all over my mouth, Marius? No? Now, what I like about the, the Mr. Black is that it doesn't have a lot of sugar. It's lightly sweetened. Are you laughing because I actually do have cream on my mouth? And or am you're I letting it go? To pretend like you have cream on your face? I don't know. You, I, I, now you're making me feel, oh, geez. Jesus. All right. There was no cream on the face. Yeah, I know. But you made me, but it, it felt kind of wet and you made me feel as if it was there, which is really mean. Anyway. Um, what I love about the Mr. Black is that it doesn't have a lot of sugar, and so we added just a little bit of simple syrup to kind of sweeten it just a bit, but you get that nice, just wonderfully, and just coffee flavor. It's just literally cold brew uh, with, uh, with vodka added to it, and then we're just proofing it up with this vodka. Um, you could actually lightly sweeten this cream if you wanted to put a little simple syrup in the cream. You could do that. I, did, I tend not to do that because for me it's a little bit too sweet, um, but there it is, and so that, that is it. There you go, it's a white Russian. Deconstructed, or uh, yeah, I guess it's a deconstructed white Russian because all of the ingredients are sort of apart. Then you can mix them or not. So, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash educatedbarfly. Marius said not to do that. He said you should shorten it. Nobody needs to know the URL. Just tell them to go to Patreon, which is true. But you should check us out on Patreon. You should check out our new channel, Barfly Free Pour, uh, if you want to check out some awesome other content that we're doing. All right, as far as history, uh, the White Russian was created in 1949 by a barman call named Gustav Topps. He uh, worked at a bar in the uh, in a hotel called the Metropole in Brussels, and he created this cocktail uh, as a tribute to the U.S. ambassador of Luxembourg. That is where it actually came from, uh, and then it was appropriated by the uh, the Cohen brothers and made the favorite drink of Jeff Lebowski in the cult classic film, The Big Lebowski. I say the cult classic film because 
there is a cult following to that movie. And I don't actually think it actually made any money in its first run. I actually don't think it was a very popular movie. I think it gained its popularity after release. I'm not completely 100% sure. I did not research that. I just think I remember that. So I'm just I'm qualifying my statement by saying that I might be wrong. But it's definitely I don't think taken, I What's that? It's found its place in popular culture. There was a, an ad recently where uh, he revisited the role of the dude and he well he revisited out. no no it wasn't an ad he revisited the role of the dude for he went to somebody's hollywood walk of fame star ceremony as the dude yes that happened recently that happened recently but there yeah. was an ad where he with the dude switched from uh white russian to uh, maybe it was like stella or something oh really yeah. that's yeah. terrible that? that's horrible i can't well, i can see why he did that because they were probably like do you want to make $5 million for one day of work? And he was like, who wouldn't want to make $5 million for one day of work? And they were like, okay, do this. And he's like, that's pretty lame, but I'll do it. And then uh, the Cohen brothers were like, you need to give each one of us $2 million to do it. And they were like, okay, we'll do that. It's worth it. We'll sell a lot of Stella. That's probably what happened. That's in my imagination. That's what happened anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so there it is. The White Russian. Do we it's know why it's called the White Russian or why Russian? Oh, because of vodka. Why is it called the White Russian? Yeah, it was well, made because, I mean, before... even though I, I used American vodka, but yeah. yes, uh, like in the 1980s, everyone was like, vodka is Russian. I mean, it's, it, vodka, even though it is, there's a lot of Polish vodka and there's vodka from everywhere, really. It got its reputation as being a Russian right. product, it was, right? It was so made, because it was made for an American in Brussels. Yes, and they with a Russian. Russian ingredient. Probably right. they were using Russian vodka. We're using American vodka today. I like this vodka. I like this coffee liqueur. This is my cocktail. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's all I got to say about that, just as, as Forrest Gump would say. Does you know he say I mean? that? Hmm? Does he say that? He says, that's all I've got to say about that. Like that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'll see you guys on another time.